Hey everyone, it's me, George. So I woke up like an hour ago, around that time at 11.30, because uh, it's 12.25 uh, a.m. right now uh, on Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. And um, <clears throat> I don't feel like using my camera to edit anything, uh, so I'm just going to do it straight forward because I'm too lazy and I have work in the morning. I would have uploaded more videos, but, you know, work, too busy. But, um, so, Obama won. That's great. I actually woke up, uh, from my family downstairs in the, uh, living room, screaming and yelling how Obama won, and my brother Joshua was singing about that, uh, how he's happy. I voted today. I voted for Obama. And, uh, yeah, I didn't care if uh, I knew the results or not, because I knew automatically that Obama would win. I knew uh, that the people would make, uh, for me personally, this is my thoughts right now, uh, that the right decision would be made with Obama becoming re-elected, becoming president again. So it wasn't really a big shocker. In fact, the first uh, thought that came to mind was actually, um, I called it, and also, my awesome powers of foresight are awesome. Actually, um, my one friend told, I woke up from them screaming and everything, I didn't know what I assumed, either he won or lost, most likely he won. My friend Amber, uh, told me that he won, and that she was disappointed. She was voting for Rodney. And, uh, damn it, we, uh, screamed, blacked out. You can't see me. Yeah, sorry, but um, Obama. She was disappointed that Obama won, and uh, my first thoughts uh, to literally my first thought that came up to me why didn't she told me that was number one. I, ho I hope she cheers up soon. And number two, um. I called it, <laughs> like I said earlier, but uh, I, I didn't want to be rude, so I just said my awesome powers and foresight are awesome, because she knew I was going to be voted for Obama, and I knew she was be being voted for Romney. And I wanted to make this video like half an hour ago, because I wanted to go to sleep, and I have work at like, I have to get up like 5.30 and be there before 7, it takes like some time for the bus and everything, but um... So now it's exciting because I didn't, I have to choose my words wisely and also uh, I highly respect uh, and value my friend Amber's opinions and everything. And I don't want to say anything rude or anything. I, I never try to say anything rude or anything, but it's just that I don't know what certain things could set off anyone. And for example, uh, I, asked, I wanted to ask her why she was voting for Romney uh, the other day, but. I didn't because uh, I considered it would have been rude a little bit. I have this weird thing. If I know you're voting for uh, Obama, I, I guess, I don't know, I guess why. But for Mitt Romney is another story. And uh, I've actually been yelled at for asking uh, my friends why they're voting for Mitt Romney, which is odd. I'm not saying that she would do it, but. I just didn't want to take that chance, just in case. Um, damn it. Sorry if you can't see me. But, um, I'm trying to actually uh, think still, but uh, this thing is distracting me because it's just black. I don't. Okay, there you can see me then. But, um, Obama won, Mitt Romney lost. The Obama supporters stopped bloating. I made like two statuses about it. One saying that I just woke up hearing him screaming, hearing him yell at the screaming nonsense, assuming that Obama won. And another one saying that my awesome powers of foresight are awesome. You don't need to gloat anymore. What's done is done. The Republicans already know they lost. The uh, libertarians and teabaggers and stuff like that already know they lost. So what's done is done to the Republicans. Mitt Romney lost. It's not the end of the world. 
the sky is not going to fall into itself, the moon's not going to explode, the uh, ocean won't turn blood red and, and green of piss, uh, birds won't start eating each other, dogs won't be speaking French and cats speaking German, and uh, the Satan won't come out, uh, burst forth from Obama saying, you are doomed, bitches. It would be a little bit cool, but no. I voted for Obama because I stand for equal rights. I stand for women's rights. I stand for uh, marriage equality, and I stand for, stand for health care and, and a whole bunch of other things. I would say more, but I'm fucking tired as hell. And I have work. I should be sleeping now. And I, I see women voted for Romney, and I'm a little confused as to why they voted for him. I mean, hmm, somebody who is for women's rights, or somebody who isn't. Hmm. I would explain more on this, but a few times. But I don't know why they would do that. They would vote for somebody who isn't exactly for them, exactly for uh, gay rights, especially when people they know are gay, and they're not for that. In fact, they, don't want, they want to pretty much ban gay marriage completely and take away our health care and turn it into vouchers and stuff like that. Again, I will expand more with Buck Up Tide. I voted for a president whose view on reality isn't skewed by their religious belief, their religious uh, indoctrination, who doesn't wear magic underwear to protect themselves from demonic forces or evil or bullets and stuff like that, who doesn't think that Afri African Americans, black people, not just black people in general, but evil curse from God from the uh, because they were they stood neutral in the war of the heaven from he from the heavens between God and His angels and Lucifer and His angels. I don't I want I picked a president who doesn't think in any of it who isn't racist against it who doesn't think that the only way black people can go into heaven to the true heaven to the main heaven of the free heavens is uh, for them to be servants in heaven, or for their skin to turn slowly white, like Michael Jackson. But, um, I voted for a president who is for rights, for equal opportunity, for equal rights, who's for health care, and whose reality isn't as skewed as, a, as <laughs> whose reality isn't skewed as uh, Mitt Romney. See, to Mitt Romney supporters, fuck, no, I'm not saying fuck to the Munani, but I'm saying fuck to the fact that my screen blacking. I really I had to like touch this touchpad uh, after a few moments before it just blackens out. So if you excuse me, which is why this short video is actually longer than it should be. <laughs> there we go. So uh, to the Obama supporters. Okay, we get it. He won. I'm I voted for him, but I'm not gloating. Woohoo, he won. Okay. To the uh, Mitt Romney supporters. Mitt Romney lost. Maybe in four years he'll win again. But maybe in four years he'll win if he decides to uh, win any election. Who knows? But nothing bad's going to happen. And I've been hearing that Mitt, some Mitt Romney supporters are actually going to go to Canada because Obama won. Because it, the socialists won. Think about that for a moment. If you don't get it, then well, I have. So, oh well. So, have a good day. Hope no one goes into a riot like they did in South Park with Obama winning and McCain losing. Or, well, now it's Mitt Romney, of course. So, that's all I have to say. Uh, to those of you who voted, who voted for Obama, like I said earlier, stop fucking loading, we all get it. To Mitt Romney supporters, stop being such whiny little pricks. I'm sorry. It's just complaining. Complain. I understand you wanted to vote for someone uh, because you liked what they said, but not everything that they say is what they believe. Not everything what they say is what they're going to do, and not everything they say is actually correct. So, Mitt Romney supporters, stop whining. Cheer up. Maybe next next election he'll win. Obama supporters, stop gloating. Seriously, I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting sick of it. Oh, and also to people who say that voting doesn't matter, it does matter. Voting is important in America. 
if you don't vote because you think it doesn't matter, you are fulfilling someone else's agenda. Take care.